Hello and welcome to another update video about Aptos. Um, yeah, Aptos is, uh, has made a, a slightly lower low yesterday. Um, no, it, actually it was today. Um, so we talked about that yesterday and we highlighted that um, there is a key level that Aptos needs to hold for a, let's say, fairly um, reliable third wave here to the upside, yeah? To give us a third wave, Aptos in this possible one-two setup that you can see here in yellow, would need to hold the 78.6 retracement and that level is basically at 1330. So as long as it's holding 3030, 1330, think you, you could say, okay, it still has a decent chance to rally in a third wave. A drop below that will typically mean that these one, two setups will fail and it will follow, follow probably the orange count and will make a low either at, in my opinion, 973 or 685. These are two key levels which would be probably addressed if that um, $13.30 level fails. At the moment though, we have some decent support here at the 38.2 FIB retracement at 13.79 of that larger cycle here. And in addition to that, just looking at the smaller cycle here, this is the 61.8 retracement at $14. So this sort of between $14 and $13.80, there's quite a good confluence of support, FIP support, and that's probably why it's come to a temporary hold here today. I mean, today the market didn't do much anyway. You know, Bitcoin Ethereum probably went for a barbecue on President's Day, and some of the other coins were invited and um, yeah, didn't, didn't do much either. Some weren't invited and did rally, but um, not too much. So yeah, it was a rather quiet day, and I guess tomorrow we'll see a little bit more movement and I think tomorrow we might get some clarity here where it's heading. Um, so you should know now the key support levels, of course, if it continues to push higher here, um, which would be a break above 1671, then it might give us this third wave here and we'll follow the yellow count. Even then though, I have to say very clearly, uh, it is not a confirmation that we are in an impulse, but if we see impulsive price action, we will have to assume it that it's following here the third wave higher because um, it could still be an overshooting B wave. Yeah, it could very well be that this was just the A wave. Even the orange uh, count would indicate that the B wave can extend higher so that this maybe was the A wave of the B wave. This here, the B wave of the B wave, and then we will get a C wave in the B wave. And it could still come down. So, and however, above the 13, no, above the 1.38 FIP retracement, which is at $23, this overshooting B wave will get less likely. Yeah, but um, the point is here in the very short term, if we break above that 1670 level, it indicates that we'll probably get a decent rally at least, you know, I would say at least sort of into the region here around $19, $20. Um, and then we need to see from there, how do we react to the next pivots? And is it actually most likely a third wave, which should be a significant rally, or is it just here an orange B wave? I still have my grid bot running. It's quite happy about these ranges. Uh, surely uh, it's going down a bit, but at some point here, either here, yeah, or from in the worst case from this, well, not the worst case, but in the alternative bullish scenario, it should uh, start to turn around here in the larger white support area, which is relevant for a wave two. And you could argue that's sort of a long-term entry point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's smart update about Aptos. I guess tomorrow we might know more. Um, it's sort of just trolling sideways at the moment, not too much um, structure there, but uh, you should not be aware of the key support areas, the key resistance areas and the key breakout points and invalidation points for the movements and the counts that we see on the screen. Okay, that's my update about um, Aptos. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.